Hey folks, welcome back. Let's play StarCraft 2 Legacy of the Void on the Mysterious GG. Um, we're starting on the assembly panel screen because I did get a chance to off-screen uh, the next mission a bit. Because uh, I wanted to try to use the Blood Hunter who uses Void Stasis. It's special skill. Uh, but it's special skill targets ground units and structures. I didn't realize that. Um, so I'm not really going to be using these guys at all. Because... The Zerg, the Protoss, the, the Terrans, all have um, flying uh, detectors. And on hard and brutal difficulty, it's, it, they're everywhere. So, like, in this mission, uh, I tried to attack a Zerg position, and I figured, okay, if I come across any spore colonies, I'm just going to hit them with void stasis. Like, no. It's not even... There's always, uh, not the observer, observers of the protest ones, they're the, um, overseers is what they're called. There's always overseers, uh, which you can't. So, like, you could do some kind of combined arm things. You send in some flyers to kill just the overseers and then retreat. Um, and then these guys come in and, uh, but no, I mean, just, they're, they're constantly going to pull overseers to stop you. It's just, it's much simpler to just overwhelm the defenses than to try to use stealth trickery. Um, campaign is just chock full of, I mean, in the, in, uh, PVP, getting, uh, stealth warriors is all about, can you get them early enough that your enemy doesn't have a lot of, uh, detection up and they're expensive and, it's all about like sneaking a dark templar or two into an enemy's base to kill workers um and then after that like the dark templar has this uh shadow fury which can be kind of useful against again zergling but everything is good against zergling so whatever so we're going to go on with the next mission here with the stasis grid down the zerg have begun infesting the surface of cybros we do not have a so bro, so bro, and a fires. Your Templar are ready, Hierarch. Give the word, and it shall be reclaimed. I guess what they're saying, if we pay attention, I was wondering about this last time. Uh, the Zerg weren't infesting the surface of this thing because of the stasis shields, but now that we've taken them down, they've immediately started landing. So we need to go clear them out and activate the, the you know, robo warriors. Um,. So I switched away from Shadow Hunters since I don't plan to use them, and we're now defaulting back to regular old uh, Dark Templar, but I don't plan to use them in this mission either, probably, so we'll see what happens. Uh, but yeah, on normal difficulty in the past, I've already won without allowing the Purifier Core to lose all of its shields, and I have um, activated two Purifier Forces within 60 seconds of each other. So in this mission, you are trying to defend something called the purifier core like you have enemy bases to take out but there's also a point you need to defend uh, so i'm going to try to defend it and it'd be nice if we could avoid it losing its shields or whatever but um this thing about beating them beating like two different main targets within 60 seconds i'm not going to worry about doing that i'm going to worry about getting the bonus solar benight and winning overall Not all enemies need to be destroyed to complete your mission. Focus on important targets. That's a good one for this mission to tell you, as you'll see when we get going. This mission has kind of a, an unusual gimmick to it. Not that unusual. You're defending a point. You have certain points you need to take, but I guess for this game, it's not that unusual. Um, not that many missions in this where you just have to destroy all enemies or destroy all enemy structures. There's a common theme in the original StarCraft. I guess they had this notion that that was a primitive gameplay approach and that people wanted to be able to win quickly. Uh, and there's no way to rush certain StarCraft missions in the old days where you have to destroy all structures. You always have this falling action period after you've got a death ball where you're like searching for buildings. So they're really against that. But this game has a lot of the enemy bases are way too difficult for you to take out. Concentrate on these objectives. This, this mission is very much like that. As tenacious as the archives claim. They are tenacious deeds. And Amon's hybrid has begun fortifying the hives. We mm -hmm. must hope for the aid of the pure to win this battle. 
I've heard it kind of gross. Indeed. According to the so are the Zerg. I mean, really, so are the Protoss. Let's face it, everything is disgusting except us. You and me, folks. Not even folks, you and me, individual viewer. All of the circuits in a quadrant should restore its power, activating at least some of the purifiers. We will need to keep a watchful eye upon the core matrix. If the Zerg destroy it, Cyros falls as well. Mm hmm. Okay. A thing I've forgotten about in, in the last couple of videos is Chrono Boost. I will eventually want it going. The null circuits as soon as it is safe to do so, Hierarch. We're eventually going to want to get that going on probably this structure. There are unpowered cannons placed near the core matrix. With enough fortification, this would be a defensible position. And we are going to want to activate cannons here. This is one of the missions where some static defense isn't so bad. I don't want to rush into it too quickly, but... We will reach a point... Where I don't have enough uh, supply for everything I want to build if I don't get going. Actually, this is. You don't have enough. Uh, you don't really have enough to build a forge. Might as well pull you back up here to do that because I don't want a forge floating around in the middle of that. Once we get up to 75, I want to have enough. Um, Surge going. That wasn't the most perfect chrono surge ever, but it was still had some effect. Okay, chrono surge is no longer in effect. A Zerg force is preparing to move on the core matrix. Warriors, defend the core. So we don't have uh, the quantity of um, cannons I would like, because I didn't build any cannons, basically. What direction are they coming from? From right here, okay. Let you guys back off for now. Okay, that was sufficient. Let's get uh, these going. You know what? I should have placed them up front more, but I didn't. Oh well. It's gonna take a minute to get 300, but. Circuits. Yeah, we should do a lot of things. And slow their attacks upon the core. Let's get somebody to start this going. Detecting a purifier awakening on its own. Oh. Yet, something is amiss. The AI has gone rogue. <gasps> its solarite memory lattice has grown irreversibly unstable. We should disable it. At least we can put its solarite to use. Oh, you're just gonna wreck these toys? Is that what you're saying?
Yeah, our Robotoid friends are, uh... They are a bit expendable with, uh... How they fight. Do I have room for another Kaidaren in here? I do. Yeah, I should have moved faster to attack null circuits, but it is what it is. Okay. Actually, let's get you up here to build some more uh, warp gates. So, there's something to be said for moving faster than I did, but it ain't always possible. We actually have lots of different places where we need defense in this mission. And by lots, I mean really two. And I have an unacceptable the level of... Attacking from the northeast. They're trying to break through our nexus point. Got kind of an unacceptable amount of, uh... Silver Knight building up that I haven't used. So let's get something going here. They've still got enough for... Phoenix, which will put enough stop to this. Oh, Phoenix can't attack air either, huh? Alright, well, we'll need the Nexus to take him out then, because I don't have any anti air. Alright. I don't want to go crazy with towers over here, but we're going to need some. Just because they'll send flyers. And I don't want to have to constantly be pulling guys back. But we've got enough economy going that uh, I'll be able to switch over to focusing on army in a minute. And if I want uh, Colossi, we'll need a robotic space, so let's bear that in mind. be a little sure I do need to keep somebody to rebuild that probably should have held some in reserve upgrades have been completed I have really highly uh, leveled up guys before I built any kind of army that might not be the wisest the base is under attack But it's nothing that's going to get through our defenses yet. Eventually we'll reach a point where even with all those towers, we'll need some guys. Can I afford two? Just barely. Oh, I don't have a cybernetics core. Oops. Okay, that needs to be corrected. Otherwise, I can't build uh, half of my stuff. Cybernetics core to come in now, please. 
Power. There's always something to do. There, a null circuit. Destroy it, and power should begin to flow again. There, the null ray. I'd actually rather. I think this one is the easiest. I'm going to head over this way. You must construct additional pylons. They don't have the pylons to build more armies, so let's get our army. Never mind, let's hang back. Let's be ready to help uh, against this instead. We are almost got the best possible upgrades for this mission, though. But, yeah, okay, so we will hold back and, and aid against the, the hybrid. That seemed pretty good. Let's have a little help from our friend Phoenix. So we've joined him, our brother, in glorious battle. That's cool. Get a couple more col uh, I don't have enough for col- Well, no, I've got enough for Colossi, I've just no more Colossi after this, okay. This is going to be held with some loss. Okay, so we need to make our way over here and then you will see what the basic plot of this mission is about. big bunch of guys up here we're not going to mess with. Instead, we're going to get to this objective. We're taking losses, but they're not crazy. Permanent damage has been taken by the Colossi, but... Energy flow increasing exponentially. It's working. The purifiers are activating. So what does this mean for us? It means glowing orange stuff. I address the leader of the firstborn. Hi. Executor that would be my older sister, actually. Deeds are taught to all Templar, even to this day. Shut up. Seize your adoration. Oh, okay, basically does say shut up. The purifiers. Brothers, you were created to protect the Empire. Brother, Dave Sullivan. We treat you as you deserved, huh. as true Templar. They were real douchebags. To forgive our ancestors' mistakes. Take up your ancient charge once more and join us. This isn't really that impressive an army. They're not terrible, but. But as you see, there's a bit of gimmickry going on now. They appear 
we don't control them. They are neutral. But they seem to have some kind of like hopped up power level where they're stronger than we are. Oh, fuck. Well, this is annoying. Some of our forces got caught up in this uh, side op. Oh, fuck, and I, w I shouldn't have used that. Uh... I should not have used. Um... Yeah, I shouldn't have used my, what do you call them, uh, super tech. Because I didn't realize I was about to get wiped out. Oh, they come, and they come down here and wipe this out, too. So this whole base here, the purifiers are going to wipe out for us. How did you guys get all the way over here? Oh, fudge. So we had some unfortunate pathing issues. My army got split. But this is, it's, it's become apparent to me I've got a... I've lost uh, enough guys that I can now uh, be afford to be making stuff. But they are clearing out the deserve high. This would have been a real pain in the butt for us to clear out. They've cleared it for us. There's less stuff up here than I realized. Or at least it's not relevant to them to get rid of for us. I might get the 60 second achievement after all if this is... How many more of these have we got? Oh, my army's almost wiped out. It's just the Colossi that are left, and they're about to get wiped. Because they got no... Yeah, they are about to lose. Some of these cannons are going to go down, but I think the... Okay, darn monoliths were a good idea here. Alright, so I need to get somebody from up here. Come down here and start doing some repairs. Or rather, rebuilding. Because we're not going to get attacked from this side very much anymore. It's all going to be coming from over here. What are you doing murder my probes? What are my probes doing down there? Okay, I don't know why my probes ended up down there, but that's unfortunate. I had a probe that went around an odd path to get to here. I guess they were trying to avoid enemy contact, and I didn't, I didn't make it easy. Okay, I guess I blocked the path here. This is unfortunate. I blocked the path. Well, we're going to start running out of resources here soon anyway. And thanks to the purifiers, we've now got an easy path here. Alright, Phoenix, that might have been uh, unworthy of your awesomeness, but... Okay. Somewhere over here we've got a thing that we need to clear out. This way we've got to get. Yeah. This will be the halfway point on the mission, honestly.
I need to get um, I need to get to a place where I can get my uh, probes back over there to, to do fixes but I messed up uh, I think we're still fine but I definitely didn't do this with a lot of efficiency the nice thing about the nice thing about this is that um, because of the nature of this mission we don't really have to worry too much about um, ever getting attacked down here again. I have met the end. Glory to the day long. So we just keep building and warping in replacements. Can we? Can we get you to be probed? Oh, I will hotkey you, which is an odd thing to do with probes. Can we just kill enough of this to um, to trigger the uh, the guys to come out and murder you? Do the rest of the work for us. It's got to be over here, right? They don't want to clear out their base. I want to let him do some of the work for us. Just get me far enough over to get vision. Damn. Phoenix really being helpful here. No circuits is located here. No circuits destroyed. Station at half power. Assault by alien forces. Move out and eliminate them. That probably wasn't necessary because we're about to run out of stuff over here. But anyway, yeah, we're unusually safe over here. I mean, a bunch of flyers could come harass us, but... But honestly, because I've got the, uh... I saved Silver Knight with the Nexus that uh, fights back. That makes it easier than it would be otherwise. Okay, you are the new worker who will come over here and do some freaking repairs now that I've got an army that can take care of things. Because they're up here clearing stuff for us. I think we just cut off the, uh, the next attack. I don't think these hybrids are just chilling out on their own. Oh, 8 of 12. We missed one up here. Okay, let's get up here. Yeah, get over there. You're in the probe's way. He's the most important part guy here. Glorious combat is upon us. Misclicked. The third quadrant is coming online now. Cybros is at 75% power. Brothers, our time has come. Eliminate the alien bioforms with extreme prejudice. With extreme meatballs. Did I... Oh, I shocked you full of power and then didn't get you actually, uh... Maybe I didn't shock you full of power at all. I have met the end. The first born shall 
guess I lost my Colossi at some point. No, there they are. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to take out all but one Null Circlet, then we're going to go after the bonus objective. Glorious combat is upon us. And we should have plenty of... Um, We should have plenty of defenses up here to be fine. The fires of conflict burn bright. Hey, we have the AC guy here, says there are falls, so that's good to know. Mineral, field depleted. Mineral fields have been depleted, guys. Glorious combat is upon us. You guys are building a thing. There's still a whole base up here, which I guess we didn't take out. Okay, anyway, no, I think we've got this well in hand now. Um... I guess we're not attack moving, we're just moving, because otherwise you guys should be shooting at these. Okay. Yeah, I'm filling this up with cannons has a bit of a dual uh, effect of now it's... Firstborn. I remember. Oh. Betrayal. Death. Unacceptable. Here's the bonus objective. We have to take this guy out because he's angry. We can't have anyone who doesn't like us allowed to live. Alright, you are killed for the high crime of being angry. I must murder that guy. I will see the solarite is recovered properly. Glory to the day long. Oh, we're out of um, we're out of population limit again. That's fine. We've got this mission now. We've got the bonus objective. We've got all but one of the thingies, and we actually intentionally put off getting the last thingy so that we could um, get the optional objective. So obviously. These hybrid behemoths were not enough. Did this get damaged at all? It might have gotten touched uh, a bit. They killed our probe that was down there uh, at some point. I have met the enemy. Mineral field depleted. You require more Vespian gas. Glory to the day. But I believe we are getting through here. The fires of conflict burn light. Not quite enough to actually just take it out, but there we go. That's it. Seals are fully unlocked. Cypros is awakening. He's a cycle, bro. A cycle, bro. Hierarch, Cybros has reached full power, and the purifiers are cleansing the station of the Zerg. Okay. Fight on, brothers. Slaughter them to the last. It's gonna be so much fun. Wait, I've been disconnected from Cybros' systems. The core is activating. 
it's going to fire. It's gonna murder us, specifically. Just you and me and Bob and Geek. So Clarar, or whatever his name is, doesn't seem to be big on uh, communicating openly with us about what he's doing. And that's fun. But I guess he's he's got the personality of an ancient Templar who may have been a bit of a pushy jerk. Or I guess you might be aware of the fact that they're robots who got treated like shit. I think they do know that, so... This is the big moment of truth. Has this whole game about an evil demon from beyond space who wants to kill all life actually been building us up to trust AIs that we shouldn't have trusted? Or is it going to turn out that the theme of this science fiction adventure is for good, like-minded people to work together? We'll know in a moment. Just gonna blow up this planet. That seems like a dick move. Oh, the planet's full zerg. Okay. Well, they are the purifiers. Like this is. They are fulfilling the the Judicator's mission. Signs disappearing. The surface of Endion has been cleansed of life. Which seems a bit it extreme. But that harkens back to the original StarCraft. The Judicators wanted to burn any world the Zerg had touched. And the great hero Tassadar was like, um, there's a lot of things that aren't Zerg that we're killing, including sentient life. And uh, Judicator Alderas was like, Tassadar, you must realize that many years ago, the Countess, who once bathed in the rejuvenating blood, so we got 15 Silvernite plus 15 bonus Silvernite for a total of 30 new Silvernite. Uh, I found Phoenix more useful than I remembered him being, to be honest. Uh, I thought he was silly, and it would be way better to have, like, shield boost, but uh, the recharge time wasn't too bad, and uh, he actually was pretty useful when we dropped him in there. And, again, if I was only going to use him in one fight, the one where the Purifier faction is fully unlocked for us and becomes our buddies forever, as I'm sure is about to happen, it makes sense Like that's where you use Robo Phoenix. With that being said, it's like, that's that skill's not as lame as I remembered it being, but it costs 100 silver Um Bobo the Vulture is also having for tri or, uh, AC trouble. It costs 100, shut up, you guys. It costs 100 silver Knight instead of 50, and 50 gives you a big shield boost, and it's probably, like, it's, I think if Phoenix took longer to charge and cost more silver Knight to, like, more energy for the Spear of Adun to use, it would suck. And I think what I lost track of is, oh, it, um, the cooldown isn't too long and you actually don't burn tons of solar benite. Like you can use this frequently and it's helpful to you, but it costs a lot of solar benite as far as allocating solar benite. So I probably won't be using it going forward, but who knows? Maybe I'll change my mind. At 165 units owned, 585 or 65 rather units killed, 59 lost, 23 high loads. The core matrix's lowest shields was 1880. So I think he, we didn't. Um, we never wiped out uh, two pure or activated two pure fire forces within sixty seconds of each other. But I believe we did. Um, never allow the purifier core matrix to lose all of its shield. So that one, even on hard, we managed to do. So good for us. Now let's find out if these robots are immediately start murdering us. Because <laughs> uh, that's what I need to know. Phoenix, contact the purifiers. I would speak to them. You don't tell me what to do, punk. I'm gonna murder you and all other biologicals now. Executor Clolari, See his eyes glow in sync with that thing? During the firstborn's darkest hour. Yeah, get over you it. You have shown us that the purifiers are a mighty force that could turn the tide of this war. Thank you. I ask you now to honor your sacred charge as Templar and fight beside your brethren as you did before. And he's shaking his head like that's not gonna work, man. Oh well, yeah, I'm the uh, no, executor. I to make amends for our past failures, I have fought battles alongside one of you, Phoenix, the one you are linked with. The Conclave feared your kind, 
but they are no more. I know you are true Templar. I have seen it. I ask that we stand as one. He's a little robot tear forming in a corner of Phoenix's single eye. I will counsel with the others. Okay. We are done counseling. You guys gotta burn. If we are to follow, we would ask the entity Phoenix to speak for us. There is much about this time we do not yet understand. And Phoenix is like, no, <laughs> I refuse. No, oh, that tension didn't last very long, did it? It kind of got right to the point about becoming good guys. Hierarch, I have powered up a new ship subsystem. You can review it in the solar core now. Oh, may I? We have come far from a race on the brink of extinction, but it is not over yet. Snake, it's not over yet. This errand of yours has been a waste of our time. An infinite army of powerful robot warriors? Stupid. I don't want them. I would hardly call this an errand. Yes, but as we already discussed, you chose to give them freedom, hoping that they will do as you command. Which they you did. Presume to lecture me about my decisions, Tal Darim. Punk ass. I so enjoy our exchanges. <laughs> I actually really I mean I he's a fan favorite character. Um much like Gorilla Monsoon is a fan favorite president. No, but Alarak really is a lot of fun. Because uh, he's kind of a douchebag. Like, he comes with this brutal society of murder and destruction. And he's, he's basically kind of a douchebag. How about you, Vorazine? You got nothing, apparently. I think we are all pleased by your success with the purifiers. Well, except the preserver over there. But you know what? Fuck her. Amon's presence within the collar grows stronger. He is becoming harder to resist. And you risk phone calls much in the background. Rohana. He believes all suffering, all conflict results from the Zelnaga's infinite cycle. Oh, he's not wrong. Yes, he has made this clear. I mean, he's not wrong about life. Like suffering doesn't happen without life. A prideful resentment that would see all worlds burn. Yeah, we know he wants to burn all the worlds. He wishes not only for the Zelnaga's creations to be set aside, but for them to suffer. You mean the evil murder man who wants to kill everyone is a jerk? Thank you for the insight. These purifiers have joined our army, Hierarch. Mm -hmm. It seems they are willing to serve you. For now. And they give us the Mirage. Equipped with phasing technology that would be fatal to a biologic pilot, mirages are capable of becoming temporarily incorporeal, co incorporeal in order to avoid incoming damage. So that's a small wing of mirages to sustain for long attacks in enemy airspace. So basically, I don't use the starfighter type that much anyway. But you've got three cho you got basically three choices, and it works like so. The, skies await. the phoenix can lift two. It has an auto cast spell. Excuse me. Which can lift two ground forces at once, so they can be shot at. It's zany, it's silly, it's fun. The Corsair it is a good day to die. deals bonus damage to light units, I guess. The it doesn't say... This deals bonus damage to light, this deals bonus damage to light, so never mind. They're basically the same. This thing has uh, a thing that prevents... It's like a temporary spell that stops uh, enemies from attacking, so it's... As we see in like brood wards, meant to be used against things like uh, spore colonies. Um, you know, static anti-air defenses can be bypassed, and it can fly right into the base. And it's it's useful uh, as part of a combined arm army with like uh, void rays or carriers. You, you know, you if you're better at micro than I am, you throw down because all the, these are all air-to-air -air fighters that don't attack ground directly. So you can throw down something to disruption web to stop static ground defenses. Then you can have void racer carriers come in and kill the static ground defenses while they can't fire back. It's great if you're good at micro. I answer the call. All the Mirage does is it faces out to avoid incoming damage. So it has this um, kind of special ability where it's going to tank better than most uh, than the other two because it can 
evade damage. It also lifts gra stuff with a graviton beam, but it only does one, not two. So it's like, it's not as it's a tankier version of the Phoenix that isn't as good at its spellcasting. So I'll probably. It really depends. Like Corsair, I think is the one where if I remember to use its spell, it's the one that I like the most. Or like I can think of a specific episode where we uh, episode a uh, mission where it would be useful. Which is the one that introduces carriers, because it'll be all about flyers and nothing else. The skies await. Phoenix is probably the most useful in general. Corsair is going to be specifically useful on a very specific mission. So I think I'll stick with this for now, the Corsair. Uh, nothing new in any of these other things. Uh, I don't remember what our supersonic warrior is. But I need to rent in this video because I've got Zerf and Bobo chatting away and um, I need to mute that conversation if I'm going to keep going. Let's talk to Phoenix because he just kind of helped us out a bit. We have achieved an incredible feat, friend Phoenix. Shut up. Phoenix, but I'm scared of large capacitors. I've been thinking more upon that name. It is the moniker. I've been thinking more upon that moniker as the name I of another. I believe I should use it any longer. I am not he. I am now a she. warrior I have ever known. He faced terrible odds and emerged victorious. Mm -hmm. Slayed enemies the likes of which most cannot even comprehend. And yet, like Bobo and Zerfal suddenly appearing and chatting away. He would have been honored that a warrior such as you bore his name. Mm -hmm. And so am I. Your words honor me, Hierarch. But one day, I must find my own path, and my own name. Let that day be tomorrow then, friend Phoenix. Keep being Phoenix for now. I have been analyzing the purifier bodies en masse. Mm -hmm. They're, They're heavenly bodies, sir. ...when in proximity to each other. Outlying protocols can be offloaded to unoccupied cores. Sure. What does any of that mean, Kara? They're smarter together. The data web was designed to replicate the sense of the Kala. They are connected to each other. But a mon can't control them, cool. Yes, however, it is a synthetic representation. There is no emotional wave. Then add the one. engineers who built them could not imagine how they could ever be seen as Protoss without the light of the Kala. If only our ancestors could see us now. We're on a Funship cruise. <laughs> Sorry, if you can see me now, I'm on a Funship cruise. For each secret I unravel, another lies in wait. The Zelnaga think in pace I can scarcely understand. It is unreasonably frustrating. It sucks. Well, we got more Solar Night to, uh... Oh, Jesus, Bobo. Just st stop talking, Bobo. So we got, um... Okay, so I want to get... Absolutely get rid of Phoenix because... Possibly the most valuable skill in the game is a Reconstruction Beam. It, it's not like super fast. It's five life per second for mechanical units and 10 life per second for structures. Maximum three can be repaired at once. It says nothing about it only working while they are uh, out of combat. But if you're going to be using capital ships, which is kind of what the protests are about, big monster units like colossi and carriers, if you're going to be using that stuff, reconstruction beam is so powerful. Um, I could get rid of, I either need to lose Solar Lance, Temporal Field, creates three Tempest Fields to freeze enemy units and structures in time. I mean, I could get the crappy version of Solar Lance. That might actually be the smart move. Or I could lose Shield Overcharge and get Mass Recall, which teleports stuff back to base. This would give me back orbital assimilators, which are good. Alright, shield overcharge is good. Last 20 seconds, cooldown 180. Although I'd rather I'd rather have shield overcharge. What if I do Okay, I could lose Solar Lance. And get Orbital Strike. It's way crappier than Solar Lance, but 
with shield overcharge and reconstruction beam, which is an ongoing passive. Because what else do you get? You get guardian shell. Friendly units become invulnerable for five seconds when taking fatal damage, preventing death. Each unit can be shielded only once every 60 seconds. And then matrix overload. All friendly units gain 25 bonus to movement, speed, and 50% bonus attack power wall in its pylon field. No, I want I want reconstruction beam. Because it'll make the void race we're going to be getting shortly even better. Alright, so we won't have solo lance. Solo lance is a big thing to give up. I'm used to having it. But this may be worth it. This may be our best setup. Let's throw down a save. If this doesn't work, we will figure it out. Because next time, we have to decide between Slaven and Ravkarnar. It brings me great joy that the Purifiers have chosen to join the Daylon. But Amon's armies are still a threat. Mm. This core is overseeing Amon's hybrid production lab. I will not let this continue. We will go to Revenscar and destroy the station before Amon can create more of these abominations. That's an interesting idea. So now I have to think. I really wanted Void Rays, but I could get Carriers first. Is it. I think I only got to beat one mission to get them. And then I could use uh, carriers to unlock void rays. That seems a bit silly to me, but it might be the thing to do. I'll have to put some thought into it. But we'll either be going after Revenscar or Slaven next time. Bye-bye.